Hello everyone, and welcome to the third part of this 12th MOOC dedicated to the production of sustainable biofuels. In the second part, we talked about the impurities present in oils. Let's now see how these oils compare to fuels produced from petroleum. We see here that fossil kerosene is composed of hydrocarbon chains of 10 to 15 carbon atoms. Its density is mentioned here, and the typical molecular weight of about 170 g per mole is generally observed. On the other hand, diesel fuel concentrates slightly larger molecules, typically 15 to 20 carbon atoms, with a density of mentioned here and a typical molecular weight of about 240 g per mole. Triglycerides, on the other end, have a much higher density of about 0.92 and a much higher molecular weight of about 900 g per mole. Indeed, a triglyceride has a larger number of carbon atoms, about 3 times 18 equals 54, plus the propane at the back end, or about 60 carbon atoms per triglyceride. Because of the well-known difference in chemical structures, and their associated physical properties, these triglycerides cannot be directly mixed with kerosene or diesel produced from petroleum. But then, how to incorporate these biomolecules into conventional raw fuels? In fact, there are two main pathways to do this. We'll talk about the first method quite quickly because it is now quite mature. It's the transesterification. Then we'll talk more in details about the second one, which is the subject of this MOOC. The first method consists in letting a triglyceride molecule react with three methanol molecules to produce a ester, often called FAME for fatty acid methyl ester. This chemical reaction involves three methanol molecules that will react with a triglyceride molecule to form three methyl ester molecules. We will therefore transform a molecule with a molecular weight of about 900 g per mole to three molecules of molecular weight less than 300 g per mole. Glycerin will also be produced during the process. It will be used in particular in the cosmetic industry. Note that this ester molecule product contains about 11 weight percent of oxygen. When we compare a methyl ester and a diesel from petroleum, we can see that their properties are similar in terms of molecular weight, density, and viscosity. Legislation currently allows up to 7 volume percent of fame to be incorporated into diesel pool, which is why you can read B7 in gas station. But then, if we want to go beyond 7 volume percent incorporation, how to do that? In this case, an alternative solution is to consider a unit called EFA for hydrotreated esters, fatty acids, or HVO for hydrogenated vegetable oil. Well, that's it for today. In the meantime, do not hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel and do the quiz. The link is available in the description of the video. See you very soon for the next part. Bye-bye!